Hello, and welcome back to another look at Wharf the Overworld. So today is a very, very special day for me because the guys at Subterranean Games who are making Wharf the Overworld have very kindly given me exclusive access to their preview build that you will be able to see at Eurogamer. Starting Thursday, they will have a booth. So if you're going to Eurogamer and you enjoyed these videos, or you enjoyed Dungeon Keeper, and you want to get your hands on it, you want to have a little go, there's going to be a few different levels that you can go and check out there. The guys are also going to be doing a live stream Wednesday night to unveil something that I'm not allowed to tell you about, but it's worth seeing, believe me. It is fantastic, and it will give you a really, really good idea of how this game is going to shape up when it's finished. You can find all the information via the link in the description for this video that will take you to their website, and if you are going, drop by and give these guys some support because it is shaping up really nicely and hopefully, hopefully, uh, what I'm about to show you should confirm that. So I've been told to go and play Raskos's Domain. Now Raskos, in fact, why am I telling you what it's about? Let me introduce you to my friend, the mentor, and he'll tell you what's going on. The last Underlord was barely a morsel. I trust you'll make a fine meal for me and my minions. <laughs> Underlord Raskos lurks nearby. To limit your competition, I suggest you vanquish him before he poses a threat to your campaign. Choose one of three aspects within the veins of evil to begin building your dungeon. The Archive will grant you cultists and hasten your ability to unlock new aspects within the veins of evil. The Foundry will bring Chanders to your cause and grant you the ability to build defenses for your dungeon. The Beast Den will bring bloodthirsty beasts to your dungeon in droves allowing you to begin a swift assault upon your foe. So there you have it. So uh, as you can hear, as you can hear, we have the introduction from... Uh, I'm going to close this because this is, shit's about to go down with this, this wonderful eyeball. And then I will tell you about what's going on. So very obviously, we have Richard Riding doing the voiceover as the mentor and also the other dungeon lord is voiced as well. So uh, we're going to kick that guy's butt, obviously. But that's one of the big things. The voiceover is now in. And it's pretty good, isn't it? Gives another dimension to it. So uh, my imps, I'm just going to let them do this and then I'll show you what else is in. You have discovered a perception shrine. The perception shrine will remove fog of war over a large radius, allowing you to react swiftly to enemy movement. Nice. Now, obviously, the minimap isn't quite working, but who gives a damn? You have discovered a perception. So, yeah, obviously that minimap thing isn't quite working, but I, you know, who, who needs the minimap? Uh, I can deal with that. So we can see here, here is our enemy keeper. There's another enemy, there's another, <laughs> there's another perception shrine here. Oh, there's one there. Let's have a little dig. Oh shit, hang on, hang on. So, oh, I see, I see what you want me to do. You want me to dig through my dungeon heart? I see. So what we want to do, we want to dig out of there. But we're not going to dig out of there yet. We're going to firstly spec into these are the veins of evil that uh, the mentor was talking about. So you can go down the archive route, which unlocks vault and summon worker. You can do more than one at once, I'm pretty sure. And what you're doing, like this slowly grows. So it makes sense to me to go for the foundry, uh, get a wooden door, uh, that and that. I can't unlock this yet. I'm guessing that's not implemented into the game. So I've unlocked all of those. I've unlocked the workshop. I'm also going to unlock the beast den and the wooden bridge, which is necessary. The lightning and the prophecy I can come back to, and I'm shortly going to be getting an archive, which I think might speed up research as well. So uh, you see here, we've got the the wonderful slaughter pens where the micro pigs live. These are these are micro pigs. That's what they're called. 
there's a layer that's sort of round here that's been built that way, which is all right. I wouldn't do it that way, personally. Actually, no, maybe I would. Maybe I would, because the chunders are coming. <laughs> I, I love the word chunder. I just, you know what it reminds me of. I just chundered everywhere. Yeah, I, I love, I absolutely love the word chunder. It just, I, I, I don't think it's a reference to that, that specific video about being on my gap yard. But if it is, that's great. And the chunders are like the, they're like the trolls in the old games. Um, they will do your workshop stuff. And they're a new unit, so you'll hopefully see them when I built this weird little area for them. There's also things like the, you may notice the, I think the gargoyle and another unit have been removed temporarily because they were being a bit derpy. That's fine. Um, whether they're back in now, I'm not quite sure. But, uh, yeah, so you'll obviously notice there's been a massive overhaul. They've been doing more light tweaking. Things like the dungeon heart are done. Uh, where's the portal gone? This looks glorious. I mean, look at this. I love this. I love all this side stuff. It's glorious. The portal looks pretty, pretty sexy as well, and it's weird little lightning state. It's, it's looking good. It is looking good. Animations are slowly working. Obviously, they're not working here with him eating. But combat, combat is apparently on. Uh, combat is go. So we're gonna get some combat down. Um, now I want to make I'm going to do that, sod it, let's have a nice you guys want to see a pretty a pretty workshop, don't you uh, and then a, de a beast den where am I going to put the beast den oh let's just put it here oh my god that's something I I'm not sure what it is but it's something, have we got any chunders any chunders in the house chunder any chunder no chunder here. Uh, I want my. I want that. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need a bolt. I'm need, gonna need a bigger, bigger box. Um, I'm not sure what this is about. I'm gonna extend that out a little bit now. In my, hello. No, they're mine. They're mine. I think we're all right. Just keeping an eye on it now. It would make sense to me instead of going right from my dungeon heart. It would make sense to... Let's pop a door down. So these are the doors. Now, I don't have any chunders, so uh, I'm not quite sure how... Oh, no, there's a chunder. Hello, little man. Hello. So, ooh, um, I don't think we want to see that side of you. Can I turn? Oh, I can. There we go. So this is a chunder. Look at him. Isn't he beautiful? He's got a hammer on his head. He's, uh, he's perfectly equipped to work in horrible conditions such as these. He is a special little guy. Let's get that spell. He's a special little guy, that's what he is. Now, I'm not happy about what's going on here with this. Uh, the chunder is doing his thing, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna dig, dig through to here. Now, I, I, I'm a bit, I'm always a bit scared about um oh shit there we go hello well that worked so that's the that's the poisonous um shooty things that were op in the last one so oh shit and a little crawly thing as well oh my god it crawls Ugh, i don't know what it is but it's nice it's nice and i like it so that is where you get slightly more high class beasts basically i think is the the gist of that. No, don't go down there. Don't, no, no, hang on, look, oi. No. You can go back there. That's not a place for you to be. You shouldn't be in there, it's not nice. We're gonna pop a bat, uh, what was that? A ballista. I'm gonna pop a ballista down, because that's important. And I might, oh shit, there we go. The perception will remove fog of war over ah. a large radius. Yes. Allowing you to react swiftly to enemy movement. You said that before, Richard Ridings. I'll use the bones of your soul to pick your minions' flesh from my teeth. He's taunting me. <laughs> He's gonna kill me. Yeah, whatever. Whatever, Mr. 
Oh, hello. Is that one of... No, that is one of mine, because I, I don't think I'd be able to pick him up otherwise. Oh, they're getting cocky. Here we go. I've unlocked... I think I've unlocked everything. Yeah, I've unlocked everything. Oh, phew. I'm just that good. Now, obviously, I think this skill tree will be a bit more refined later on. It's only just come in, and I can't unlock that thing, whatever it is down there. Maybe it's a prison or something. I'm not entirely sure. But it's it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I'm 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 looking forward to seeing how this plays out. He's probably gonna kick my ass, but Oi! Oi! No! Bad! What the bug are you playing at? Ooh, all right. You wanna you wanna play? You wanna bloody play? Come at me, Brozef. Little limps, come here. Go away. Here we go. Right, come on. Fight him. Fight him. Kill him. Pop it over here. That's right. Own his face. Own his little fat face. Or, or slightly thin face. Oh, yeah. Well done. Well done. Come on. That's right. Oh, what's that? What's that? You having problems? You having little problems there? I bet you bloody are. So, as you can see, uh, as you can see, shields are now in. It's getting a bit out of hand here. I might have summoned too many. Oh no, the chunders are getting involved. So the chunders like fart out some green gas. Think of like the bile demons in the last one. You can, you can probably go now. You can go. Go on, off you go. Go home. Go home! Oh no, the chunders are getting out of hand. Oh shit. No! It seems there is an unguarded entrance to Raskos' dungeon. Capitalize quickly on the board, or he will surely defend it soon. Okay, I'm trying to put that, these guys down. The stench of your blight is so intoxicating let's just we're just gonna do this we're just gonna iron man it this might be suicide may may maybe my suicide oh no there we go oh shit look at this um i'm not sure what's happened here let's just pretend that's not there um oh my god this is just the chunder off isn't it oh <laughs> look at all this what the hell's going on I've summoned too much shit. <laughs> I think we're winning, though. Come on, little lads. Come on. How do we get through to there? They're just killing all the micro pigs. Now don't do that. Go in here. Come on. Come on. There we go. So, um... Yeah, my minions are, are kicking bum, uh, as you can see. Uh, this is not how you're supposed to do it. Maybe you are. I'm being a bit cheeky. Ah, you want to go in here? Come on, lads. In here. In here. Come on. Come on. Come on, my ridiculous amounts of spiders and shit. Come on. Pain. Kill him. How invigorating. Ah, ah, I have bested you, sir. Like a maggot, I will wait in the ether for you, ready to infest and consume your rotting soul. Oh, that's a bit unpleasant. You are a marvelous animal. Thank you. I hope you come back to me. For the I will. I will come back very soon. Thank you, Richard Ridings. So there you go. That's like a very brief look at one of the, I guess, the starting levels or just the test level uh, in the campaign just to see how it rolls. Proper combat. I'm pretty happy with that. It's such a massive step. If you compare it to the first video I did, compare them, it looks so much better. It plays so much better. The chunders are fantastic. The chunders are amazing. I love the word chunder. I know I've said this before, but it's just fantastic. And they just chunder everywhere. Anyway, um, yeah, so no, I like it. I like the veins of evil. I could have been a bit slower and taken my time to build up the dungeon. 
my normal play would be build a bit more defensively and then overwhelm with a lot of creatures that I've trained up but obviously there's no training room yet and um, I had a, a stupid amount of creatures anyway so there we go so yeah if you want to play this level or if you want to play the other level that they will be showcasing on their live stream on Wednesday you can go and check it all out at Eurogamer at their stand you can also check out their live stream check the video description below to see more information about both events um, and I will see you soon hopefully for more war for the overworld updates thanks very much for watching everyone and I'll see you soon bye